वेलकम बैक लेट्स लर्न अबाउट यूज ऑफ फाइनल कीवर्ड इन जावा द फर्स्ट यूज ऑफ फाइनल कीवर्ड इज टू डिक्लेयर वेरिएबल एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो दैट कॉन्स्टेंट इज अ वेरिएबल हुज वैल्यू डू नॉट चेंज थ्रू आउट द प्रोग्राम इन यूअर प्रोग्राम इफ यू वॉन्ट any variable should have a constant or fixed value and in further the program should not change that value then we can declare that variable as a constant so how that constant variable is declared in java that is done by using final keyword syntax is final data type variable name is equal to value let's see example for this suppose in java we are writing one code now where this final variable usage come into the picture like applications where suppose we want the value of pi variable should be as a constant like 3.14 and uh, uh, in the banking section suppose rate of interest should be constant or fixed one that should not be changed throughout the application so that can be declared using final keyword now suppose in this class a variable i am declaring one variable as a final or suppose without final variable what do we get suppose i am declaring k variable and in one function set k i want to set the value of this k variable so i am changing this value to and suppose i want to print that value value of k is equal to plus k set close class close now suppose i am writing one class x where i am writing public static void main string array and here i am creating object of a class and where i am calling the function using ob object set k function main close class close save the file with x dot java name under the java jdk bin folder compile the code by writing java c x dot java there is no error run the code by writing java x value of k is equal to 9 because we have assigned the value in the set k function and that is printed when we have created object of a class and we have called the function so we have received output value of k is equal to 9 now suppose if i want the value of this k variable should be fixed one so i am declaring it with the final keyword final int k and i want to assign a fixed value of suppose 80 to this k variable so this k is having the final or constant value as a 80 later in the program if i am trying to change that value to 9 let's see what do we get compile the code now it is giving error that cannot assign a value to final variable k where error is at this line k is equal to 9 it means once you declare any variable declaration with final keyword and having value it means the value of that variable is constant we cannot assign a new value to the final variable in further program so first use of final keyword is to declare variable as a constant you have to just precede the variable declaration with the final keyword and assign value using equal to operator so no further assignment of another value is allowed for final variable this is the first use of final keyword in java next we have seen about method overriding method overriding means when the method in the base class and as well as in derived class are having same having method with same name 
सेम सिग्नेचर लाइक नंबर ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट टाइप ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड रिटर्न टाइप ऑफ मेथड एवरीथिंग इज सेम ओनली द बिहेवियर इज डिफरेंट सो इन कंसिडर ओवर हियर हियर इज द बेस क्लास ए हैविंग शो फंक्शन एंड देर इज वन डिराइव क्लास दैट इज बी हैविंग शो फंक्शन द नेम ऑफ बोथ फंक्शन इज सेम एंड हैविंग सेम सिग्नेचर लाइक देर इज नो आर्ग्यूमेंट इन बोथ द शो फंक्शन नाउ एज पर इनहेरिटन्स वॉट वी डू फॉर द मेथड ओवर राइडिंग दिस इज अलाउड मेथड ओवर राइडिंग इज अलाउड सपोज फॉर दिस if in class a we have set k function where we are setting the value now suppose i am deriving one class b from class a and again i have set k function but it is performing like printing of suppose any another message like this क्लोज सेट के फंक्शन क्लोज क्लास बी नाउ एज पर इनहेरिटन्स वेर बी इज द डिराइव क्लास वी नो दैट एज पर इनहेरिटन्स वी क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ओनली डिराइव क्लास एंड वी विल कॉल द सेट के फंक्शन ओ वी डॉट सेट के नाउ वॉट विल हैपन वेन वी विल कॉल द फंक्शन एट द कंपाइलेशन टाइम कंपाइलर विल चेक which set k function body to execute for this call so compiler will check for set k function there is set k function in derived class as well as in base class so it will check the number of argument here are zero argument so it goes to backward in derived class here are again zero argument it goes to base class there are again zero argument so it means the method in the base class is having the same signature as in the derived class everything is same but both are performing different task now when we syntactically there is no error so compiler does not generate any error but no function body is linked with this function call at the compile time so when we run the program what will happen the interpreter will check is there any linking of function body is done no that is not done by compiler so interpreter gets confused now which function to call so it will check the object which object is used to call the function that is ob ob is of object of which class b class so it will execute the set k function of derived class and the set k function of base class will be hidden let's see when we compile this code there is no error and when we run this code we get output as a by because the method set k method has overridden the set k method of class a this is hidden overridden we know that for that we have solution as super dot show so it will call the super class super class super class set k function so it will call the super class set k function which is of a class that will execute before printing of the by now compile the code and we will get the output like value of k is equal to 9 and then we have received output as a by but now suppose i want to prevent this method overriding how we can prevent this method overriding means if there is show function in base class i don't want there should not be i don't want that there should be any show function further in derived class there should not be a function with name as show or with the same signature as that of the base class it should not be allowed to have a method with same name and same signature in derived class so how that can be prevented having this method overriding so there is a use of final keyword the method which you don't want to override just precede that method declaration of base class with final keyword the method of the base class 
preset that declaration with final keyword now let's see what do we get combine the code see what it has given set k in b cannot override set k in a overridden method is final it means the b class should not have set k function because it is declared as a final it means it is a fixed now it is common there should not be any set k function in further derived class so it is giving warning here you should not use such a name for the method you should change the name of the method then it will allow to have that method then if i use another name for the method set a then it will allow so we got the output for both the function it means the second use of final keyword is that if we declare any method with final keyword that method will not be overridden in its derived class it means its derived class should not have the method with same name and same signature there should be a different name method so that was the second use of final keyword next what if we want to prevent inheritance now suppose there is a class a and if you want there should not be any class that should not try to inherit or extend properties of class a it means if i don't want to allow any class to access the variable and function of class a directly in its other another class so we can avoid the inheritance by using final keyword let's see how suppose if here i declare this class a as a final then what will happen so if i compile the code what it is giving cannot inherit from final a it is giving error at this line for the class b extends a what does it mean we cannot extend class a because it is declared as a final so this class a will have the function with the behavior and we can call that also but we cannot inherit this class a we cannot extend that class using extends keyword that will be an independent individual class so the third use of final keyword is to prevent inheritance so in this session we had seen about the uses of final keyword there are three uses first use is to declare variable as a constant so you cannot assign a new value to the final variable in the class second to prevent method overriding means if any of the method of base class is declared as a final so in derived class you cannot have the method with same name and same signature third to prevent inheritance if you want to avoid any class to be inherited by another class just declare that class with the final keyword that will not allow to extend a class that will prevent inheritance thank you